Pastor Din Padayag here, welcome to Soul Food. Yesterday we were talking about despite technological advancement and intellectuals in abundance all over the world, no one has created something out of nothing. Many of them they have created something but mostly uh, just modifications of what is already been in existence. That is making something out of something but not something out of nothing. Only God can do that. All of them are using raw materials that are already in existence. Now we can create uh, furnitures out of the tree but we cannot create trees we can fly through the space through the sky but we cannot uh, create sky uh, we can utilize and observe gravity for example but we cannot create gravity we can only calculate it and utilize and observe but not create it uh, there are a lot of limitations uh, when we talk about uh, creating uh, things now if humanist is true that the material universe created us many billion of years ago. Uh, why there are a lot of immaterial things in existence or non-material elements, things that are not made of matter. If matter created matter, granting that is true, why there are a lot of immaterial, non-material things that are not made of matter that are in existence. For example, emotion, you know, love, anger, kindness, uh, care, guilt, pride, all of these emotional things. Where are these things coming from? Character, bad, good, authority, dominance, these this characters. Uh, who created them? Uh, wisdom, thoughts, knowledge, understanding, complexity, all of this. Where are these things coming from? Beauty. I mean, if we look around, we are living in the beautiful world. Uh, variety, uh, uniqueness. I mean, there are 7.8 billion people in the world and no one is alike. You, you imagine the, the amount of wisdom needed to create all of these people, just people. They are so beautiful and they are so different. That's only people and uh, there are a lot of things that we can see that are just so beautiful. Uh, perfect. Uh, you can see the creativity. And then there is order also. Who created order? Uh, the Big Bang. The order like seed, time, harvest, summer, fall, winter, spring. And this is ongoing throughout the year. They are not made of matter. All right. Uh, there is no way that material things can produce or create non-material things. Uh, we have not seen a rock having emotions or crying or loving. Uh, we, we have not seen mountains full of thoughts. So, if, if material things did not create this, why these things that are non-material are in existence? Well, we have the answer from the scriptures in uh, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 27. It says, and, when God's, uh, and then God said, let us make man in our own image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion. And then in verse 27, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him male and female. He created them. Then God blessed them and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over uh, the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. You can see that. That God created and God is an emotional God. He is a God of character. He is a God of beauty and order. There is wisdom in him and power. That's our God. And so when he created uh, things and, and people, he created them according to this non-material, uh, immaterial type of characteristics. Now, there's no way that material things... Uh, you know, how much more the, the Big Bang that is just, you know, a nothing that there's no way we can see that that's the creator or the source, the origin of all of these things. We have here the origin. God created 
And he created in such powerful wisdom and, and beauty and order. We have everything here. Now we also have Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. And it says, And the Lord formed man out of the dust of the ground. That is matter. God created matter. God created material things. And then it says, And breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. God created our bodies. But then God also put in us a material thing or non-material thing that is not uh, made of matter. And that's the breath of life. And with the breath of life, then we have the ability to think. We have thoughts. We have wisdom. We have all of this emotion. And we are beautiful from the inside and outside and in all areas because God created us. We have the reflection of who God is. We are the image. Uh, we, we, we are uh, created according to God's image. And so there is totally uh, a real clear truth here that we as believers must understand. That God created us in such a powerful, magnif magnificent way. And he is worthy of our praise. Beloved, we'll continue this uh, tomorrow. Until then. Enjoy your soul food.